I'm just hearing. Both teams scored 2-2, just as Prophet Angel prophesied. Guys, Powered by here. the Holy Spirit, Hubert Angel. We have the man of God working with us. President Manangagwa appointed Angel. We ate some with it. We ate some with it, guys. Chumboya, Nasin Trumbo, Kurukura Nishon. Chumboya, it's Naso Samate, Sepanap. Marona, we read documentary. Marona, we read. Buffets. Precious, I did it to you over streets. No, you forgot to do it failures. Good daro, about the Latin Bava. Guys, Chumboya, it's time with a gawand. We are eating butter or some say Nika. I have Fiona. One borrow on a red documentary. Pama owner. When the Palink and Ditty, ye, 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 I'll just see that old show. You should. I'm so narrow, it's going to do, but Uh, guys, we are we are. Can I'm to report you for data, guys? We want you to come onto the stream and have this conversation with us. Number two, your mamuns way. That position, I'm number two. And there's no position like that in the country. It was just one position that was never built in, and it's created for you. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> so one and only one. One. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Sin is on. So if you then look on paper on that position, I'm number two. And there's no position like that in the country. It was just one position that was never built in. And it's created for you. Yeah, it was great. Ah, guys, we are, we are, we are. I want one or two or three or five of you to come straight on to this. Sin is another so undercover that reporter. This. She's <laughs> posing as Mr. Stanley's financial advisor. Jay Bar, how can we tell you what to get with you? I can call the president now, not tomorrow now, and put him on speaker. It's not an issue. The president's trying to create a legacy right now. Yeah. Legacy, so hey, guys. Right time to strike now. And go like we're in. Angel claims to foretell the destiny of Africa's leaders. <gasps> Guys, I don't know. Uh, the papa also come. We want to hear, you know, because ambassador at large saying that it's like number two. So, Pana President, Emma from Nangawa, Papaya. No, it's not the rejection of the angel. Tanika image. Shagaoma. Shagaoma. Guys, I just want one or two of you who come onto the stream with us. I've put a link. Um, I've put a link. Let me also put it here so that if you are able to join us on the stream, you can come through and then we can have this conversation. Because at the end of the day, guys, this is our destiny. This is our it destiny. Works. Yes, the Al Jazeera documentary talent, Rabuda, and the Tanzu Ambassador at large, you are saying it is like number two. And Manangagwa it explains a lot of things. It explains why election. our country is where it Deal is right now. And someone was sense. saying, Kuti, ha, okay, Zimbabwe, say, Tori, pa, 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 yeah. because of us. <laughs> this president will be president until he dies. <laughs> That's what that means. Oh, okay. okay. oh, okay. As he will be president until he dies. We don't want to make the wrong prayers. But uh, seriously. We are in Africa. I'm born in Kenya. For you. Then I've been to nearly 80% of Africa. So we'll, we'll see it. It's uh, uh, remember, we only left you three days to register to vote. Uh, so please encourage your family members, your friends to go and register to vote um, uh, before the, the blitz end. And remember, it is our opportunity to encourage more young people to register to vote. And also tell us what the challenges that you're facing from your communities. And we know that in Chitundu, uh, there's been a case someone was made yesterday in Zengeza 1 and of course um, uh, there's also an issue at Fumo Primary School where people were registering to vote and there was a group uh, of uh, an organization called, um, uh, they are calling it uh, whatever, 
that or what who um threatening people to record on phone uh, your registration uh you know proof so please guys do not be discouraged don't be afraid but yeah come come you can just press on the link and be part of this this stream and so that we can interact at until he dies, I'm my dictator plan B. Join, I just press on the link, um, Jack Bauer, so that we can talk more fast. Please do come and join. Uh, Tina Sota or Renda Batka, and I'm so the Angrikuto Buddha. So, guys, Munanobu is a one million per day, per week. Is so many Kamedu Chisafa, who score a watch of cookies while Goda in people are suffering. My classrooms are not in the Racha White. So, please, guys, come through, come through, come through. Through, come through, um, so that's in total. Patney pockets 600 million dollars, it's shared with Arab Moy and the government officials. Guys, these people they are cleaning dirty money, they are using the money that's supposed to be for development, and this money is lining a pocket of a few that's why you've got individuals who feel they are very, very powerful because they control the money in this country yeah someone has just come through yes that's what we want we want to talk hi welcome to zimbabwe daily good afternoon how are you ah we are angry right now <laughs> and we want to also hear from you what your own assessment of this documentary if you watched it is he seems to be ill Yes, I did. I did go through the documentary. Later, and the to be honest, and he's never um, as as a nation, uh, yeah, we were made fools and we were taken for a run. Um, it's it's quite painful. Mm. Um, I think if you are watching how much of of of, of our resources. Are being moved out, and how much, um, how uh, quite few members are benefiting from those things. I think it is something that is very, very boring. No wonder why now we have people who call themselves prophet for this, prophet for that. Mm. Uh, even those people, have you ever seen? how the Mazibaba uh, churches have upgraded these days. Mm. And most of them having state-of-the-art speakers, some uh, of the Mazibaba flying in helicopter, some expensive oh. lifestyles. It is because they are joining ZANPF just to plunder the, 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 the nation of its resources. It is, yeah. it is quite painful and it is quite... Uh, it's a disgrace. It's a disgrace that people, those people who call themselves religious leaders are the ones who are in the forefront uh, uh, mm. stealing the resources. It's uh, sad, you know, it's really sad. And welcome uh, once again. Uh, we have another guest who have come through for purposes, you know, that we know. Uh, we are not going to read people's names, but please come through. What's your own take on what we just saw? Yeah, what what I can say it is um, hashtag Chabondoka. Uh, <laughs> Tell us more. Hashtag Chabondoka. Um, I am I am also a, a man of God from Zimbabwe, but operating in South Africa. Mm. Um, what I want to say is, uh, this tomfoolery it must end. Mm -hmm. it must end if they can manipulate the state funds how much can they do to uh, things like election things like uh, all those things resources mm. if only a chosen few are now gaining so you see it will be very very difficult for for a change to come upon a nation where people know that we are still it that's why they beat up people. That's why they are ready to kill people because they know that once we move away from this, 
we are moving away from our finances. Mm. 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 That's really, really sad. Please, you can just click on the link and also be part of this conversation. We want to hear, we want to know. Uh, we have seen our ambassador at large. My God. <clears throat> and in, uh, Steve, if there's any common sense within the Zem ruling party, you bet Angel Narushwaya and those white goons must be arrested as it ceased because this paints a very damning image on the country. It's unfortunate because we have seen even the background of some of these individuals that they are wrong. They've been in prison, especially around issues to do with uh, dra uh, um, gold smuggling. And now they are the ones who are dealing directly with our national leaders. It's actually quite appalling. It's astonishing. So yes, if if there is any common sense which we can see is not there because if we can take out money to the tune of four million in a day if people are handling three million dollars in a week that's that's astonishing and yet we don't have money you that's know true. you know yeah one thing my my sister that pains me most in it mm -hmm, is and rita Rushai was caught ready handed with gold and where is she now? The charges, they are blown, gone, just like that. Mm. She's not in prison. She's walking scot-free. And then the same to be said, that same person was still allowed to continue in the trenches. Yeah, she's back at the top, you know, because it's benefiting them. Somebody was saying it explains why she's out right now. She was caught red-handed with the six kgs of gold, but there is no case for her to answer. That's just astonishing. That's I'm I'm shocked. I am so shocked. I know that you know some people are still uh, processing. Some have not yet watched the documentary. Uh, but guys, I really want you to look at all the things that have come out. This is just part one, and we've already seen just how much of our money is going out of the country, and they've got processes. You know, imagine. I I would think okay, in Zimbabwe we may not have proper systems, but what about Dubai? How do they explain? How do you they see, explain and, all that gold? Yeah. You, you see, one thing that that, that pains me most is, in the name of of, of uh, if, if you listen to the conversation on that 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 uh, I don't know whether whether it's a prophet or whatsoever whatsoever you call him, mm. the way when he called uh, uh, that. Henrietta, yeah, he called, he called on a very, very casual level that these people they are in are in this, and you are saying he went on to say, I, I have just lost my one percent. <laughs> yes, ah, these people, eh? <laughs> just, just imagine, hmm? and there's a whole man of God talking, yes, yes, yes. I don't and know. Some people are saying they're the men of gold. Uh, and Norman is asking, and where is Constantino Chiwenga in all this? Quite interesting. Quite interesting, indeed, because you'd think that we've got a hierarchy that we see would want accountability from each and every one of the people that are in government. But here we are being told, and we are seeing that there's a whole system that is operational outside of the very ties of government that we know. You know, we've got the the ambassador at large himself being appointed and we saw the statements that uh, zanu pf and, and and you know they were now issuing when this whole uh, thing blew out that there was a documentary that's coming they started disowning him and all that and this comes and he says we are the government whatever decision i can now sign on behalf of zimbabwe any agreement anyway in the world and it will be binding you know that's just uh, uh, astonishing that's just uh, it's scary because we think that we've got people with the interest of this country at heart but what we really see are people plundering the very results that should be benefiting our people like my colleague said classroom a whole classroom block would fall into the ground why because of these artisanal miners from where um the likes of my are getting um 
you know, the gold from, which gold is not even helping our country. It's going mm. elsewhere, you know. It's 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 going to pile up. Not in tax, it's not, uh, no revenue is coming to the government, no tax, nothing. It's just nothing. gold that is going out and being, the money is going straight into the pockets of, of the, the, the those uh, um chosen few. And, you know, um, what really pains me most mm. is uh, um, these people, they have been laundering money at a national state. So mm -hmm. if, if, if the rule of law is not observed from the top, then it means that we are living in a country that is in disarray. It means There's that no the country evidence. that is Yes, there's yes. no ethics at every level because there's no ethics right at the top. But we are not so that's the only way you can get some ma minerals in your can guide this rema sanctions to ten guess a ship. I'm temo to buy is our buyer made out and guess a coop. Unless there are sometimes wisdom and knowledge is power. Ma one, we ma one. Sometimes it's good if you do not have enough information. No, but up at ten dollars, ah, you could have always got defender. The system, it could throw out one million every single day. We've got more than a billion dollars that's disappearing, and somebody who's getting a ten dollar stipend is here defending that system. What sanctions? Did you read you know, the? You know, my sister. Statement? My sister, there's yes. one thing that I want to say. And if this Mawan is listening to me, mm -hmm. let him just uh, uh, um, Google uh, and show us the economic sanctions that Zimbabwe has. We don't have any economic san sanctions. We have individually targeted sanctions. Mm -hmm. So you, you, can't, you can't stand out there and tell us that the country is under sanctions when the country is, the country is not under sanctions. Mm. It's the mm. people who were separated mm. and placed under mm -hmm. I see, I see Trevor. Trevor, let's hear from you. Let's hear from you. What's your own take about this uh, conversation? Trevor, can you hear me? Trevor, can you hear me? And Baba Natalie, Jimba, don't entertain Anama one. Our masses come. <laughs> Arrest them, put them in jail, all of them, full stop. You okay, remember they said we are the government, we are the army, we are the police, they are everything. So it's saying they should be arrested. It, it, it won't work, it, it doesn't happen. Trevor, tell us what's your own feelings about this? Our country is a laughing stock because of Zanu PF corruption. Uh, thank you so much, Nose Somba Vaids Jasungwarini. Nani, they are the police, they are the soldiers, they are the army, they are everything, they are the government. Yeah, that that's the that's the challenge, you know. That's the challenge that we have right now. Listen to this, listen to this, listen to this one. Listen. I'm a representative of the president. You are representing the president. Yeah. So if you then look on paper on that position, I'm number two. And there's no position like that in the country. It was just one position that was never built in. And it's created for you. Yeah, it was created. <laughs> so one and only one. One. Miss <laughs> Sin is another undercover reporter. Guys, and this position was created specifically for me. Atirambe, you know, people must give their time to God. People must give. People must. But you know, we are 85% a Christian nation, and these are the papas that we have that are teaching you to seed and to have faith. And yet they are demonstrating clearly that they have nothing, uh, you know, of that sort happening to them. They want the gold. They want the money. They want you know they want the power they want the positions you know god knows only god knows what's going on behind that 
But yeah, we are here to talk about the system that we've just witnessed of um, cleaning dirty money in Zimbabwe. And this money is dirty because it's supposed to develop our country, but instead it is aligning the pockets of a few. Mm -hmm. Emmanuel Prey says, each, this is very sad, and I heard some people saying, why should I vote for Chamisa? People of Zimbabwe, we need to wake up. Ooh, shocking, Elvis D. Yeah, indeed, indeed shock. But then again, it, it's not exactly shocking because we know that such things are happening. We know that some way, somehow, the money that we have in this country is enough to develop our country, but it's not doing anything. And our suspicions have just been um, laid bare. You know, remember there was that report around the cartels that was spoken about. But then you look at this, you also realize that there's a completely different cartel that is um that is is happening as in a trevor on the background you have to play thomas mafumo's song yeah corruption mm -hmm. yeah um, and um to trevor were you experiencing challenges in joining the stream we noticed that you came in and then you got out in a few moments so to those who would want to join the conversation you can just click on the link and we can discuss we just want to hear your opinions what are you thinking as a citizen of zimbabwe with the challenges that we are facing, if you are something, someone like me who come from uh, Chitungwiza, where we do not have our own source of water, we rely on Harare. And right now, it's an outbreak because I have clean water and owns one I have a million per week and I have a development. So if you are somewhere, eh. Eh, just encourage other people to also register to vote. Um, and you know that we are only left to three days to make sure that you register to vote before the proclamation of the election date and of course <laughs> especially the young people no to conclude the voter registration list uh, yeah. we still wait uh <laughs> for the president to then pronounce uh, mm -hmm. a date for an election, which should be happening anytime between uh, July and August. Mm -hmm. So Zimbabwe, this is our opportunity to make a statement and say what exactly it is that we need. Mm -hmm. Gold Mafia, the documentary uh, done by Al Jazeera came out today. Uh, if you didn't manage to watch it, you can do so online on YouTube or you can also watch it on channel 406 mm -hmm. uh, at 10 p.m. on your DSTV at home. So we want to talk about the things that came out of it, guys. For me, I was really, really heartbroken. Uh, we know that money is going out, but the magnitude, the magnitude of what and how it's happening is so disappointing. And to watch... Uh, you know, proclaimed men, so-called men of God doing it, it's even more heartbreaking because we look to them for, uh, you know, moral uprightness. We look to them to show us the way. But here they are at the very forefront encouraging such dubious activities, you know, that are destroying our country. It's so disappointing. Yetan, you said, I watched that documentary. It's painful. Those guys are heartless. Mm. Ah, it's sad. It's very sad. So Ephraim says the Arab is that should be in the know of all these acts. We can't keep using the sanctions card in the face if uh, not the head of these acts of laundering and plunder among the elites who live and their kids live a Hollywood lifestyle while the rest spends spend a uh, two cents daily to survive rushwire was caught with gold and a case went cold just like a big chef case cases yeah, we yeah. need the head of the state to use this information to show you still now than before a pack of um all mentioned people should follow and law be made mm -hmm. but if they say imperfaka Ephraim. i love how you say you know that um it, this is the case with all the big chefs. And the unfortunate thing is that the second in command to the president, let us say that he is number two, is the one who is confessing to everything and how accessible those people are to the person you are expecting to take action. So I'm not exactly sure if we're going to, if anything, thank God we've got electricity and internet, but not gonna go shy as 
for the next episodes because I think they're equally going to be explosive. Guys, Twitter say, tin information yet about it. What do you call information? This is sad for sure. And my police and my soldier are too far. Do I know my citizens? And these people should just rot in jail. Imagine how bad our roads, hospitals, education, sports, etc., etc., systems are. Then mungo mun auto internet diplomatic pass. I can't be searched. Uh, so use me. You know, if you watched the documentary, you could see them moving. Imagine me, me mukala no kiran take. Muna netserwa. Ma Bible church. I know you are not bad at it. Yeah. Bible la wapu wa for free mm -hmm. that you are going to distribute to the less privileged mm -hmm. clothes that you are going to distribute for they want cut mm -hmm. and, but gold yeah and Stephen said um I'm very disappointed we are suffering all because of a few gangsters masquandering as leaders masquerading yeah yeah uh, honestly we are not going anywhere because these people have all the powers they tamboro washeduma streets for overhauling completely these zan pf systems i heard rushkwaya saying everything is doable um <laughs> so sad when i watched this documentary i'm at work in south africa right now i had to stop what i was busy doing your very very dark day for every young zimbabwean across the globe so today and i am in pain it's so painful mm -hmm. because you know people are grinding hakuna muna anoda kukwenda kuchikoro kutazo tengeza doma asimo street hakuna mbere kise zizu haruku fara ne position ne mwana wai badarana fees kutayende kuchikoro izo zimono wacha haka gara ora haruku ita you know the the simple venting vacho haruku ita successful avasi kutuza chokwa it's so disappointing because you think good people are successful because they are working but they are successful because varukuba they are successful because vaka lingwa vaka pinda mchi system cho chekuba and they are the same ones that the forefront busy telling people could you are not working hard mm -hmm. my zimbabweans are no shanda by the way and i i saw on twitter what text um uh tweeted that uh zimbabwe anti-corruption commission ah. should you know follow through these stories and i just thought of um you know i wrote an email a year ago uh to zimbabwe anti-corruption commission for them to check nyema covid funds and they mm. never responded so how then are they going to respond uh to the issues and so this is the worst expose in Zimbabwe, in Zimbabwe since independence. And the worst part is that um, they, are. they are all too rich to be held accountable unless that data in the uprising of that which, small thing. You know, the reason why, let me tell you something, guys. I don't know. Maybe uh, someone will agree with me or maybe you won't, but it's okay. That's the whole idea of us having conversation. The reason why an ordinary Zimbabwean will not want to join an uprising is because we know the system itself is just brutal. They will just come open fire on your kids, on you, you die, your kids are left exposed even more. So you feel good to take some of my vegetables and then be able to provide my kids with a meal. Mm -hmm. I'm able to send them kuchkoro kwacho. No bother a footy teacher, I was all charged out by the one who remained so that at least my child learns, mm -hmm. you know. So he was on the uprising. Mm -hmm. I just want to say because we want peace, we are peace loving, and we want things to move in this country without us having to resort, you know, to those ways. We respect the people, but the, I think level of disrespect is just disappointing. And <laughs> I think also, I think, I think that's why you know this person is saying Kudizoni, we need to do something really radical. Mm -hmm. But how radical wow. is radical? Where where do we draw the line? Mm -hmm. This is just a terrible you know and this is if we could it never roll a research on zimbabwe because i think murguru era kusiri i think mama ona but we, we don't want that but yes this is so 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 disappointing and guys please 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 just click on the link and join the conversation we would also want to hear your voices and because we know some are joining us from different parts of the world so we would want to hear from you could you say you could jacamira say what is uk you know, please there. guys just join 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 just click on the link and then you'll be in the stream you can put your video off it, if you don't want anyone to see your face and we can continue the conversation yeah and i believe as hubert angel said the president 
is there till he dies, meaning they know that even if you register to vote, he still wins. I see you are right. Let's register to vote. I want to say let's register to vote, guys. We do still have a say. But uh, mm -hmm. you know, that's why you look at other countries that have been on a downward spiral, and then you see new leaders emerging and things changing for the good. So all hope is not lost for Zimbabwe. We can still register and vote and vote for what we really want. Um, Anzi, thank you, brother. But I know Mwari Ariko, let's register to vote. Mwari Ovavati Betsera, indeed. If we don't do something, then we are never going to know. This is the worst expose in Zimbabwe. I think Peishi read that one. Guys, bucket, red plastic, red at 35 cents. Then you know, for another five years, Vachich, Kama millions, Imuchi, get a tomb, trick and three weeks later, I don't say more. But you took a poor bucket at Okanga, not a poor cup bucket, sheep, my baby is there. Okapua cup bucket, sheep, canopera within a week, and then Japera, you were told for Tandis. And what hurts me more is when we want. Um, when we want to demonstrate the police and soldiers fire at us, yet Trukutambratese, Junior, thank you so much for your contribution. Indeed, it's going to be helpful. You know, we saw South Africans uh, getting onto the street, the AFF guys getting onto the streets and demonstrating here. Yeah, the moment you do that, the soldiers, you know, don't want to in power, but no, so you want to say, Iri armed to the teeth. It's so disappointing. Everything is captured police, army, judiciary. So, a personal intervention, it's going to be tough god help us indeed god help us and elijah go away he said mm, wangu 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 ama wangu ako kaharuna to express we can't do anything and they kept saying praise god praise god if god works in this way hmm, someone 27 verse 2 says it oh we are nothing indeed i was actually i was quite conscious about that you know like people use the name of the lord in vain also we don't know but I think even Botinyarare for some time, and people think but I want to believe that God is a way that He responds in such situations. Anzi, you are on earth and I'm in heaven. So He knows all things and He knows the right time when He's going to come through. So I believe that redemption is not very far. Uh, Peshi, please. Okay, I, I just wanted to read uh, Elijah's verse for mm. others who doesn't know. So Psalms 127 verse 2 says, In vain you rise early and stay up late, toiling for food to eat, for he grants sleep to those he loves. Mm. Thank you so much uh, for, for, for that verse. Yes, we've got KK in the studio. KK, welcome. <laughs> Yes, KK, please go ahead. Ah, KK, but is it? I'm going to wonder what you want. I was so Ah, really? And uh, guys, I really want to hear your voice. I mean, if we can have just two or three more people, then we wrap this conversation up. I just wanted us to to rant and to vent and to just, you know, kumbo release, you know, chest is our words because really, how do you explain so much money? I mean, we are talking billions going out. Yet, Muzipatara, Muna Parasetamo, guys, have you been at, um, I think the network is a challenge. Sure, and Dr. Shakuto Zimir, why is it? Because the artist could on Boswana Shakanak, uh, internet young young guy, young guy, past 60 gig guys. He goes, Nature 2019 gig. Ah, this is strange. Ah, this is a guy's. Oh, 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 the past 16 gig guys from 48 gig. In the morning, anyway, but we just want to be able to talk about these things. ZANU-PF is a mafia organization, Brighton says. They don't care about this documentary. By end of day, today, one or two guys will go missing. Hmm. 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 In Indabat Kana to the last, uh, last number, Chai Chai. And Zina Power, those guys are criminal. Why Kubama Riedu yet Urimutunga Miri Riedu? Pamwe Yane Pam Ya 
Nepanyama ah no men, all evil men shall go shall go unpunished. No evil men shall go unpunished indeed. And we know that God uh will certainly come through, but we also need to play our part, right? That's why people are saying, let us all register to vote and let us vote wisely when election time comes. Guys, we are talking about the um the laundry. <laughs> Ah, the laundry surface. So this episode was basically talking about how money is taken from point A to point B and back. Imagine could you gold Rino Torwa guys from Zimbabwe and it goes to Dubai. So Dubai, a whole desert or whatever it is. Yeah. Ikoko, guys. I want to go spend. They are using our gold to develop their country. And yet our country is being plundered and there's nothing really to show for it. Guys, this is so disappointing. Yeah. Yada, yada. Maone, no man, welcome. Please, let's hear you. Anzi nata wanda papa wati idia cha fela pa chigaro. Mm. Wow. <sighs> yeah. Ini nangu, anzi ina andi gonu kutamwa. Anzi titamwere. Guys, this, we're not trying to mobilize people kutuvatamwa. But we are just saying kuti mazrona o se. Ini nangu when I watched it, and I told you, I would know, this is, this is terrible. We knew that it was bad, but we didn't know just how bad, guys. If you have ever been to the hospitals, go just for Parenyatwa, go to Shitungiza General Hospital. The basic things, ECG testing, but we've got the capacity of making sure all our, our prov provincial hospitals, our district hospitals are equipped. <laughs> don't worry my guy just you know every second someone is going down so don't worry too much about Yekushka so don't worry about that and Zanu yeah or oh my god I don't know about that but yeah guys those people they are well oiled in the door, what's one of my baggage? I'm not school at Japan. I'm not school. I was told that God removes a man or a mom. We're not gonna go up. Imagine, just that gonna put my kitchen countertop say gold. Ne gold remove no money. Ne gold is just a ku ku one ka pesa just in Kenya ku ku fundu ka fundu ka gold because we've got so much gold reserves in our country. And imagine if we kept our gold, that money that we are so desperate for, those US dollars, they would just come because those countries they need the gold. But how can our reserves be outside Zimbabwe, guys? How can our own gold reserves be outside Zimbabwe? I know, man. Uh, sure was that the so-called Rakasha given my dollar. Kuzoti Rakasha Panorushka. Five million. Last year, Opo was arrested after he exposed it. Of course. Of course. Of course. No one, I know about my bag and that is a red tape. Yo, you know, exactly. Those people, they, they, they do it. You know, 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 you and yet there's money in this country. We've got lots of money. We've got billions going out of this country every month. Ah, they're using our gold to develop their country. I'm very angry with ZANPF. They will not even care about this documentary. Yes, Mporofita Abuda, but he is being used by ED. Anza Shatonga till death. You know, Power Allen, it's really, really sad. It's really, really disappointing. And as you shower neck with my gold buyer is in their in their president, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that we have to sit down to discuss the things that are coming out. Later, I share. I don't think people have got a problem. 
kuti one more people don't care about that i always say that people in zimbabwe they don't care about zakawanda all they want is to be able to take care of their families they want to be comfortable in their homes they want to be able to meet their aspirations to build a common house just two bedrooms they don't even want my mansions at chuku wona chiva kwane vanhu ano dzikira they just want the basic life but we are being denied that because of a few individuals who are too powerful who are larger than life and who want to make all of us look like we are not doing anything guys i'm so disappointed in fact ka lepatombwana atombo nditumira kana mbija na ntenge kokora ndrukita kutsa hai anse assist ka ngwari na paduri se huku nyadze mjolo nema associate vamwe vachiba gold nema socialite ndo zvatotera to we sleeping with who as if it matters tawanda tawanda nyadze nemsoro tawanda ona munhu here asking for your friend <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I just had to breathe because guys, I'm I, I don't know, I'm really burning up. And uh, anyway, I'm out of data, but uh, thank you so much. Do you know today Taiwan amabasa nemari nokwana very few people would care about politics. I agree with you Banatal. Not people they don't even care who is at the top. People just want uh and in the moon plus ever registered vote. Thank you so much, Atawanda. And I hope Munuaka registered as a voter as well. Uh guys, I just want to thank you so much for coming through and just venting with me and um my friend here, Titi, and just also being able to just express yourselves. I just wanted us to get an outlet as we wait for more exposes. Did you wanna in the next uh four uh guys please don't say hey god god what what you know what god is actually angry with us because we're busy worshiping these demons the makandiwas the jawas the magayas the makomichis and etc so first of all we must repent and seek the true living god then god will intervene okay uh wiry thank you so much uh for that i yeah it's, an, it's like i said um earlier on again we are on earth god is in heaven he sees all things and it's not gonna go short of us and equity and stuff like that but also know that god makes things to work together for our good no matter what i believe that god is in control of everything we may be disappointed like we are now and i know that god is not shocked he sees all these things and surely surely his response is coming and it's coming very soon uh power alan you saying apa kwekwe yava pamsoro pe gumba chikoro chakavira mugumba vana vakanga vaofa yet we are benefiting nothing amana yes anze winki akayimba vomuva there's so many things so many things that are happening so many things that are happening dona joshua chipinda joshua please go ahead and say what you need to say uh, as we round up this conversation <laughs> na Michelle the way you bet spoke kuita kunge DM ari wacho so ungodly eh Michelle zvakaoma kana zvakaoma Joshua Joshua please unmute your mic and just uh, you know say something let's hear you Joshua we can see that's Zimbabwe. That's Zimbabwe for you. That's what we have. Twitter say, Norman, welcome. Say you know, something. You know, us, us as Zimbabweans, we. We, we do not need like it's not good you know big life you would someone can buy bread for the family each and every day you can pay food fees for your for your kids you you can you can get to my basics but in Zimbabwe it's a nightmare only a few people can can manage that you know we, we are being deprived of our uh, our right the right to internet the right Most of the people, uh, I'm sure it's only because we do not have power, all about power. 
please let them give us a chance to enjoy our lives as as as, as Zimbabweans. They are greedy. That's the challenge. They don't know. They don't know that we don't even care about the kinds of cars they drive. All we want is to be comfortable in our own spaces. We want to be able to afford, you know, proper meals. We want to be able to afford to take care of our parents. We want to be able to take care of our children, finish and clear. But they don't know that. They think Greedy, right now you don't greedy in a moon with them Zimbabwe. And people say Zimbabweans very, very, what do they call it? Takapusa or something. But no, we love, we, we are so full of love. And because we are so full of love, people take advantage of us. But then, you know, I think, we, ah, yes. Vamuaku fumane gold, Vamuaku zene tight, mufunga tight, pikunamaringa end. Ah, see. If you tithe and you have faith, no, God gives ability to make wealth, guys. And if we tithe, we are tithing to God. But as far as tithe, then you are cursed. No, guys, it's heartbreaking. Stella Primrose, thank you so much for coming through. Um, I see Norman. Norman, do you want to say something? No? Okay. Network, but it's okay. We love you so much and we thank you so much, guys, for coming through. Joshua, thank you so much for coming through. Um, and sharing uh, one or two. Maybe if you have one last thing that you'd want to say, you may go ahead. All right, I think there's uh, network network challenges, but guys, thank you so much. And maybe it's just part one, but the documentary was just a hype without substance. We don't know Chimrenga, so we will wait to watch the other um, the other parts. But just this part one was so unraveling. It's unfortunate that this is where we are right now. It's so unfortunate that people can clean dirty money, you know. I need in the bad kind but anyway, it's okay. It's it's one of those things. So we wait to watch part two, part three, and part four, and then we will be able to actually talk more about these issues and say how can we get our our country back on its feet. We have lost a lot of guys, gold, rare four million. <laughs> in the three million, yepa we can do waza. Imagine kuto munano gararu mundeg. Kude, arare Dubai, arare Dubai. Kungaru kukera kombe, wena ushtumiza. Guys, hanzi ndaru waziwa. Na shikombo rero. Ngati mpo isei, nyaya ema drugs pasa kumana. Nyaya ii national disaster. I'm telling you. Chiru kutu ita tuma drugs awande. Because kutu wanine wangu zimwe. Wangu wangu. Wane privilege. Kukera ndege. Kude, 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 kude. Kwenda ku Dubai. Ushino tenge sa gold ye nyika. And no one searches you. Ovo ono tishuwa ka mazina na itu kwa ku airport uko ne, 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 ne security ka I mazino ae evano wa sinaka na power. Numbo zono, I don't know, ke, ke, maybe it's just me. But mwa zono tu wano wa sinaka power wano neza. Dusa katini kaku shushiru wakati netu kwa mnika mnumu. Mpani wakabata, wakabata matomu enyika shekutu. Ah, guys, ah, ma wan, ma wan, ma wan, chayo, chayo, ma wan, shekutu da donki. Tita wa ratings we. <laughs> all right, all right, guys. Nati Baba Ikudara. Um, let me just check who did that. Alangora Apache. Uh, two minutes is also the time to retire. That up at ten gig. Ah, uh, guys. Anyways, but it's fine. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Let's look out for the next uh, parts of the documentary. Let's re-look at this documentary as well. Let's try to break it down um, for each other so that guys, I'm still I'm just surprised that people are still laughing and talking about it. But I know, right? It's unfortunate. 
Whew. Okay, thank you so much, guys. Thank you for coming through. I really appreciate you, and I really appreciate the efforts that you are doing. Do join us, Mangwana, as we are doing a book launch uh, right here in our Zimbabwe Daily Studios. We are so excited for what young people are doing. We just pray that uh, at the end of the day, we are able to rebuild our, our country and are able to rebuild the things that we have. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have yourselves a wonderful rest of day. Oh, I don't know really if because then I think Dr. Mbona prayer closed it. I'm so disturbed because of this and I just want to inquire of the Lord. But maybe in this certain day and, uh, there's a scripture that I was reading the other day and I just want to declare that word. <laughs> I just want to declare that word. It's in Ezekiel. It's in, it's in Ezekiel 34. And the word of the Lord came to me, son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. Prophesy and say to them, this is what the sovereign Lord says, woe to the shepherds of Israel who only take care of themselves. Should not shepherds take care of the flock? You eat the kids, clothe yourselves with the wool, and slaughter the choice animals, but you do not take care of the flock. You have not strengthened the weak or healed the sick, or bound up the injured. You have not brought back the strays or searched for the lost. You have ruled them harshly and brutal. So they were scattered because there was no shepherd. And when they were scattered, they became food for all the wild animals. My sheep wandered over all the mountains and on every high hill. They were scattered over the whole earth and no one searched or looked for them. Therefore, you shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. As surely as I live, declares the sovereign Lord, because my flock lacks a shepherd and has been plundered and has become food for all the wild animal. And because my shepherd did not search for my flock, but cared for themselves more than for my my flock. Therefore, all shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. This is what the sovereign Lord says. I'm against the shepherds and will hold them accountable for my flock. I will rescue, I will remove them from tending the flock so that the shepherds can no longer feed themselves. I will rescue my flock from their mouth and it will no longer be food for them. Guys, the Bible holds all the answers to the thing. God Maruyo. I heard people saying, good, hey, God bless you. Hey, thank you, God. And, and what, what, what? And you are smuggling gold. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Hans, I am going to remove you, Ndega, Namare. You know why? So that you can no longer feed yourselves. I will rescue my flock from your mouth and it will no longer be food for them. So beware, you so called leaders, you so called shepherds, because Mutori Nemtongo when you could die. Ah, thank you so much. Okay, Henry Mabaya, translate this documentary in Shona, make it small portions, then share it on WhatsApp groups. It reaches millions in a day. We'll definitely do that and share so that Munuwesa Nunzguisisa Kurkuenda Goride Renyeka. Michelle Chiku Varukutamba Namwa Rivan Ava. May God help us. Thank you so much, guys. I really love you and I really appreciate you. May God bless you. It's bye-bye for now.